Hello guys, this is uh, Duke the Ixie Hog here, Duke the Ixie Pony. <laughs> oh yes, um, the reason why I'm kind of pumped up for this, I'm going to be doing a reaction video today. And this one is called Kirby vs. Majin Buu. It's been a death battle I've been waiting for a while now. So, I think it's time for me to do a reaction video to this. So, hopefully you guys enjoy and I'll try my best to see if this video goes well after it's done. So, let's go ahead and start up the video, shall we? Three. Oh, actually, hang on a second. Uh, give me a second. Sorry, just want to put this for maximum enjoyment. All right, let's start. All right, let's see. Imagine right now, what does the apocalyptic destroyer of worlds look like? Yep. Stop thinking, because you're wrong. <laughs> it's these pudgy pink terrors. Kirby, <laughs> Nintendo's floating puffball of never-ending cheer and dreams. And yep. Majin Buu, the most vicious monster in the Dragon Ball universe. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And oh, it's see. our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a Ooh. death battle. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Over a thousand years ago, an epic war waged throughout the universe. Yep. The legendary Star Warriors battled against the vile nightmare for I the freedom the series, of everything so, that ever yeah. was. Ultimately, good prevailed, yep. but at the cost of many, many lives. Yet one infant Star Warrior escaped the carnage, destined to awaken a millennium later and save the galaxy. His name is Kirby. Yep. Hi. Wait, what? The cute and cuddly pink puffball who lives in Happy Land? Are you sure you're reading the right backstory? Yes, he crash landed on Popstar, the most confusingly shaped planet ever, yep. and has been defending the Kingdom of Dreamland ever since. Of course. But look at him! He's just so adorable and cuddly. He couldn't hurt a fly. Kirby is a ravenous cannibal who thrives on the blood of mass murder. <laughs> Did you do this? Holy shit! He may not look it, but Kirby is a powerhouse. His species he possesses are known. incredible strength, life. speed, yep. durability, and an arsenal stranger than an average oh, day in Florida. Oh, prematurely 200 years. His trademark power is his inhaled ability, which sucks almost everything in with a powerful vortex. Yep. With it, he can clear out everything from a quick meal to an acre of forest in a matter of seconds. Yep. Plus, Kirby's body is malleable, allowing him to stretch his mouth and inhale larger objects. Just Though like from the game. Though he does have trouble wrapping his mouth around extremely large and heavy things. Like bosses. Like my dick! Kirby weighs practically nothing, oh. allowing him to inflate Air his bullets, body psychic, and fly like a helpers, sentient balloon. Ability, he can also star, traverse inhale. the skies and outer space using his personal vehicle, the Warp Star. Which he can call up at any time on speed dial. No, really, he uses a cell phone. Somebody get me that number. Didn't know I about that. one 800 pink ride, but it was something else. The Warp Star is Kirby's primary means of transportation through the universe and can fly at speeds faster than light. Yep. It is forged of Kirby's own energy. So, while delicate, should it be destroyed, Kirby can easily create a new one on his own, making the cell phone kind of pointless. I'd be happy to take that phone off of his hands, though I'm a bit iffy on standing anywhere near that star-driving balloon marshmallow. Look at him! He doesn't even care! He's a monster! It's about to get even worse. Guess what just happened to that poor creature? See, when Kirby swallows a victim, they don't exactly die. Turns out Kirby's stomach is, in fact, an entirely separate and endless Oh yeah, I remember reality. that episode. So he never feels full. Of course. Talk about getting your money's worth at an all-you-can-eat buffet, though. Kirby can trap thousands of victims in this abyss. Then, he can actually enter his own stomach dimension and draw from his captive's power using his copy ability. <laughs> How in the hell does he, like, swallow himself? He likely projects an astral image of himself within the dimension which can act on the physical plane. Yep. Sure. Now I know. Anyway, with the copy ability, Kirby's form and power change based on what he's eating. Yep. By devouring an enemy with a mallet, he can become Hammer Kirby, a master of whack-a-mole. <laughs> Fire Kirby can unleash a torrent of flame and survive all manner of heat. Yep. Ice Kirby freezes foes solid. Wheel Kirby is fast enough to drive around the entire kingdom of Dreamland in under two seconds. Yep. Though who knows how he can see where he's going. <laughs> There's Mike Kirby, whose singing talent is apparently so awful, everything that hears it dies. Oh yeah. Only two episodes I had it. <laughs> I read that episode. Like Wiz at karaoke night with the ladies. Yeah, hey. Stone Kirby <laughs> is nearly indestructible, and Sword Kirby is a master with a blade. He can even fire sword beams, which can cut through anything without mercy. Yep. Damn! 
But that's not all. He can pour a ton of energy into the blade and make it grow into the powerful Ultra Sword. Oh, the Ultra Sword! Ah, yes! Fighter Kirby is a master martial artist, and by inhaling a miracle fruit, he becomes Hyper, Hyper Noah Noah Kirby, Kirby! capable of devouring worlds. Last but not least, by absorbing his own warp star, Kirby can create his ultimate yep. weapon, the, the star final movie, rod, the star a magical rod. staff powered by dreams and capable of destroying evil, and most of the moon. Oh. The only problem with Kirby's copy ability is they don't last. One bad hit, and there it goes. But even not without really. an added ability, Kirby is remarkably tough. He's powerful enough to crack a planet in half, oh, they even fast that enough one. to run on water, <laughs> and strong enough to throw a monster 30 times his size on a frying pan all the way Cook to the Kirby. sun, circled the burning star, and returned to Kirby's feet with a perfectly cooked monster. Wow. I think that might be the most ridiculous feat we've ever seen on Death Battle. But he's not just strong. He's so tough that he was barely phased after being crushed under thousands of tons of pressure yep. and effortlessly survived an explosion massive enough to eclipse the entire world. Oh, he's yeah. He's achieved all of this despite being only eight inches tall. <laughs> See, it's not the size of the monster. It's how he throws a fucking humongous frying pan into Never the Never underestimate that Kirby well, size. Kirby does have one crucial flaw. He's a baby and has yet to fully mature as a Star Warrior. Uh, yeah, yeah he's that's not true. too bright, so he's not gonna be whipping up any genius strategies mid-fight. Fortunately, he's powerful enough to get away with it. Kirby is the most adorably terrifying thing in the world. Yep. Yeah! That's me! Woohoo! Alright, Majin Buu. True terror is something unpredictable, unstoppable, and dreadfully deceiving. A perfect description for the pink monstrosity, Majin Buu. Majin Buu. Oh man, he's so powerful in the Dragon Ball Z series. Majin Buu is a fat pink man-sized baby thing with enough power to destroy a planet. And I assume he's made of some <laughs> sort of bubblegum. Probably Big League Chew. Boo has existed since the dawn immortal. of time, but was only discovered five million years ago immortal. by the nefarious wizard Bibbidi. Bibbidi released Majin Buu on a helpless universe, intent Majin on destroying of destruction and pure evil. After annihilating hundreds of planets, Bibbidi set his sights on Earth, sending Boo ahead in a sealed capsule just waiting to be released. But then Bibbidi got himself killed before he could get to Earth and release the Pink Terror. But no worries, the weird lizard wizard thing had a backup plan in the form of a magic clone named Bobbity. Yes, clone, not son, that was a mistranslation. <laughs> so, Bibbidi, Bobbity, and Boo, put them together and what do you get? A Disney lawsuit. <laughs> anyway, the doppelganger Bobbity <laughs> set out on a quest to recover Boo and complete Bibbidi's plan. Eventually, Bobbity found Boo and opened the monster's shell. But turns out there was a slight defect and Boo was... Um... A complete idiot! <laughs> of course! <laughs> Is this the, the great Majin Buu? <laughs> Never underestimate its looks. Are positive? Buu is the equivalent of a man-sized toddler with the power of a billion nuclear warheads. Ow! <laughs> Forgot about that episode. It's been a while on Dragon Ball Z. Talk about your terrible Ouch. twos. Boo has a ridiculous arsenal for killing worlds. He can fly, shoot lasers, Chocolate destroy beam. cities by breathing too hard, Body and can fire generation a beam head penis Boo that turns super people breath into and candy. Bean. Boomstick, that's not his genitals, it's his... Well, actually, I Experience don't know what it is. Vanishing beam, finger Which beam, brings bite me shout, to his greatest first. ability, his whole body in general. Whatever he's made of, it's magic in nature. Of course. Boo's body can be pulled, stretched, or even ripped apart with no negative effects. He can even pull entire slabs from his belly and use his own flesh as a weapon. He's a loving uh, weapon. This is just getting stranger and stranger. Yes, and he apparently does feel pain, of though course. it seems to please him, like some sort of combat masochist. Fortunately, his body can regenerate almost instantly. Of course. He can be blasted to smithereens and reform oh, yeah, himself I remember in that. seconds. He's practically invincible. Boo can mimic any key attack after seeing it in action only once. This yep. is how he learned Goku's Kamehameha Wave and Supreme Kai's instantaneous movement teleport. But his copying prowess goes even further. Ooh. He can physically absorb other people, transforming his mind and body. Yes, come to me! Super Boo! Yeah. That's the most disturbing thing I have ever seen. 
Each version of Boo has a different personality based on whom he's absorbed. Fat Boo is cheerful and childlike due to yep. absorbing the carefree Grand Supreme Kai. But then there's his original and most dangerous form, Kid, kid Boo. Boo. He's so tiny. He's like a little kid in MZ Hammer Pants. Ooh. This can't seriously be his deadliest form. Yes, it is. Boo is pure rage incarnate. Yep. He's the most he deadly so form. Angry, he's capable of tearing holes in the fabric of reality just by screaming. Oh. Or if he's fed up with whatever planet he's on, he'll just blow it to bits with his planet burst attack. Ooh. In a universe chock full of planet busters, Majin Buu is one of the strongest. He has destroyed entire galaxies by systematically obliterating each planet one by one over time. <laughs> he's defeated most of Dragon Ball Z's Unpredictable most powerful amount characters, combat including Vegeta, Gotenks, and Gohan. He one-shot the king of the demon realm and easily bested the Supreme Kai's. Mm. Who are like the gods of other gods. So needless to say, Boo is pretty friggin' strong. But he's also extremely cocky, caring little about strategy or personal safety. And while his regenerative ability seems to make him indestructible, Boo is one of the only Dragon Ball characters whose body has been visibly affected by ordinary bullets. And while being able to destroy planets, his body's not tough enough to tank the explosion, forcing him to regenerate from a mess of pink particles. Despite having the mind of a child and a body of Play-Doh, Majin Buu might just be the deadliest villain in Dragon Ball history. Make it big. Oh, the big bang attack, baby. Oh, great. There it is. Okay, so anyway, I don't know about this, but uh, Kirby and Majin Buu, it's kind of like a little difficult, I have to say, but I don't know how Kirby can be able to do it, but his copy abilities might be able to give him a slight edge because, I mean, he inhales it, but, I mean, losing his copy ability for one hit, I can remember the games that it does take a few hits sometimes, or probably two, that will make him lose his copy ability. Or special magic prowess, just like from Kirby's Return to Dreamland. But Kit on Boo, on the other hand, um, I'm probably say he is gonna win this one. But who knows? Maybe Kirby might change the tides. So I don't know how this is gonna happen. But I guess I'll find out after this. So what's my bets? I'm gonna put my bets on Kirby because Kirby is my childhood the character in Nintendo. So why don't we go ahead and start? Uh, um, so hang on a second. All right, so all here we right, go. All right, combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, if you like Dragon Ball, make sure you check this out. Huh? What the heck? Oh, those top figures. Super Saiyan God Goku, he's my best friend. Then why do you hate me, Buster? <laughs> what? My Super Saiyan God form would eat Superman for lunch. Like a delicious muffin. That's right. <laughs> I'm talking to you, Ben Singer. <laughs> you can't even sing. <laughs> <laughs> we see them then. They're very angry. We see the comments. We see everything. <laughs> Toy Story, you reference. <laughs> With a T4 star voice actor. <laughs> I don't want you anymore. What? Merry Christmas. You too can own one of these totally not possessed limited edition pop vinyl figures exclusively <laughs> at Funimation.com. Click the link below and use the code DBZ Screw Attack for 10% off only at Funimation.com. But right now, it's All time right. for a Death death battle. battle! Here we go! Come on! Oh yes. Aw, her happy music, just like Kirby. Bonkers, Waldy, Fighter, and the Waldies. Wanna do Oh! Oh cake! Hello! <laughs> well, it's Kirby's time! Here comes Kirby! Yeah! Let's do this, Kirby! You make Boo Bread! Boo make you Oh! Who 
we go! Oh! Wow, Cody took it! Oh! Nasty revenge! Come on, Bopper! Give it that hammer! Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah! Kill it, folks! <laughs> yeah! The generation capability. Oh! Oh! Oh, here comes some more copy ability. Sword Kirby! Regeneration. <laughs> oh, copy ability. Sorry, boo. Oh, sword duo. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, don't just tell me won't lose it instantly. Ooh, that was close! Yeah, give it to him! Chocolate game! Ooh, that was close! <laughs> Is he just... Oh, <laughs> the endless abyss. No. Is that the miracle no. fruit? <gasps> Evil boo. Oh, he's taking down a. Oh, well, there goes Majin Boo. He opened the rift! Uh oh! Oh! Oh man, Kid Boo's owning him bad! Oh! So, what scarf? Ooh, man, that wasn't bad! Fire Kirby! Yeah! <laughs> You're thinking a real move. Oh! Oh man, there goes Spider Kirby. Ow! There goes the Warp Star! Oh, wait! The Star Rod! Yes, the star rod time. This one will destroy evil. Ooh, didn't know the star rod could do that. Wait, not yet. He's not. Uh -oh. Oh no! There goes the Star Rod! Oh no, the planet burst! This is not good! This is not good! Is this the end for Kobe? Wait! The Miracle Fruit! Yes, the Miracle Fruit! Oh, yes! We can hit him! The first that attack! Oh, he's gonna take 
take it to the front! <laughs> wow! Kirby! <laughs> Just happen. Oh, yep. copy me. Oddly enough, Kirby's Why strength, Boo? speed, and durability matched and surpassed Boo's. Yes, Boo has more destructive capability, but Kirby's inhale and copy ability let him absorb and rebound anything that could have killed him. And Kirby's no slouch when it comes to power. He tanked a planet sized explosion without a scratch when the same kind of blast turns Boo into mush. And remember the frying pan thing? Pop Star is approximately the same size as the planet Shiver Star, which is actually a post apocalyptic Earth. This means Popstar's gravity and escape velocity must be similar to that of Earth's. Throwing huh. the giant acid monster Popon up to the sun means Kirby threw at least three and a half tons over 25,000 miles per hour. And that's not even counting the giant frying pan or the return trip. And Kirby's warp star moves faster than light, a speed Boo has never had to combat before. But Boomstick, Boo could have teleported away from the planet burst ball, right? Well, his instantaneous movement has limits in extreme situations, such as when he didn't use it when a similar giant ball of murder was killing him at oh, the yeah, end of true. Dragon Ball the Z. Oh yeah, true. The spirit bomb. Who just couldn't stomach this fight? The winner is Kirby. Huh? Nice job, Kirby. Knew anyway, he was right. Oh, what's Next this time one? Time on Death Battle. Stop it, Blade Blue. Oh, Ragna versus who? From Guilty Gear. Huh. Don't know the other one. Have an idea for a death battle? Well, that was kind of surprising. I didn't think that Boo would have uh, managed to win it. I mean, Kirby. But I guess I knew that he would uh, manage to do that over time. And that Hypernova fruit was also kind of a thing back there. Well, <laughs> well, all for you to comment and everything. I know you are going to hate that uh, Boo was defeated. But, haters gotta hate anyway. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction video. Hopefully I didn't really do so. Hopefully I didn't ruin your experience on that. So anyway, this is it for me. Anyway, this is Duke DXC Hog here. Duke DXC Pony. Signing out from the reaction video of Death Battle Kirby vs Majin Buu. See ya. Hang on for a second you guys. You thought the video was over? I just wanted to check out this one minute melee. Bowser vs Dr. Eggman. So let's check it out. One minute melee, where all the fights are settled in 60 seconds. Two fighters, no research. 60 seconds. Yep. Melee! Go! Oh, hold it! This following episode of One Minute Melee is inspired and the spin off of the famous series Super Mario Brothers Z! I remember that series a long time ago! Like there's still the hope of Super Mario Bros. Z. Oh man, I loved it that series. That one was part of my childhood too. 
Well, let's just go ahead and see this one minute melee. Pet hedgehogs. Oh, Bowser's pissed. If you gotta done something, you gotta do it yourself. Too bad Pikachu's tied up there still. Hmm, nice animation for this. Just got a hand to the dock. The whole operation would be happening right now if it wasn't for him. Oh, what? It's a big mech suit. You're building cool stuff like that for me too. Oh, sorry, Battle of the Egg Man version 1. Sorry, but this is a one of a kind. You see, Bowser, I no longer need your assistance, for I, the great Eggman, will finally come up with a device that can plummet both the rodent and your plumber friend. And with all the picture, I can finally acquire all the chaos emblems and fulfill my plan for creating Eggman Land. Oh! If anyone's gonna pummel that plumber, it's gonna be me. And if you think you're gonna turn my future kingdom into a carnival, you better screw that loose bolt in your head and back in place. We'll see Bubba and I make turtle soup out of you. Oh! Shredder! Go for Rome! Fight! Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Never depend on technology all the time! Oh! There goes Dr. Eggman! This melee victory goes to... Bowser! Make sure to like this episode and share it with other melee fans. Well, now I officially call this video an end. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is, uh, I'm not gonna, this is rhetorical, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy. See ya, for real this time. Sorry about it. So, goodbye.